and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that plot the added pairs in a coordinate plane. Describe the location of the point a part minus 2, 2, b part minus 1, 0, c part 3, 1.5, d part 13 by 10, minus 3 by 2. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, a coordinate plane has four quadrants. In the quadrant 1, both x and y coordinates are positive. In the second quadrant, x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive. In the third quadrant, x and y coordinates are negative and in the fourth quadrant, x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. And on x and y axis, the integers are written at equal distances. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in the A part we have to plot the point whose coordinates are minus 2, 2. Now for plotting the point, first of all we have to draw the horizontal and vertical axis as given in the key idea. So we have drawn the horizontal axis which is known as x-axis and the vertical axis is called the y-axis and the point of intersection of both the axes is called the origin and we will write 0 at this point. Also we have written the integers at a distance of 1 unit on the x and y axis and here the sign of arrows indicates that these lines are endless. Now let us plot the point minus 2, 2 on the graph. Now here x coordinate is minus 2 and y coordinate is 2. Therefore, we will move 2 units to the left of origin as x coordinate is negative and then from this point we will move two units upwards as y coordinate is positive. Now let us plot this point on the graph. We will start from the origin then we will move two units to the left of origin and we will reach at this point then from this point we will move two units upwards and we will reach at this point so we will put a dot at this point. So this is the point whose x coordinate is minus 2 and y coordinate is 2. Now in the b part we have to plot the point minus 1, 0 on the graph. Now here x coordinate is minus 1, y coordinate is 0. Now to plot this point we will start from the origin. Now here the x coordinate is minus 1. So we will move 1 unit to the left of origin and we will reach at this point. Now the y coordinate is 0. So we do not move any unit up or down and we will put a dot at this point which means this is the point whose x coordinate is minus 1 and y coordinate is 
zero. Now in the next part, we have to plot the point three one point five on the graph, which means the x coordinate of this point is three and y coordinate is one point five. Now one point five will lie between one and two. So let us mark this point as one point five on the y axis. Now to plot this point on the graph, again we will start from the origin. Now here the x coordinate is three, which is positive. So we will move three units. to the right of origin and we will reach at this point now from this point we will move 1.5 units upwards as y coordinate is 1.5 so we will reach at this point and we will put a dot at this point so this is the point Whose x coordinate is three and y coordinate is one point five. Now let us plot the point thirteen by ten minus three by two on the graph. This means we have to plot the point one point three minus one point five on the graph. That is, we have to plot the point whose x coordinate is 1.3 and y coordinate is minus 1.5. Now, for plotting this point, again we will start from the origin. Now, here the x coordinate is 1.3, which is positive. So, from the origin, we will move 1.3 units to the right of origin. And now the y coordinate is minus 1.5, which is negative. So we will move 1.5 units downwards, and we will reach at this point. So put a dot at this point, and this is the point whose x coordinate is 1.3 and y coordinate is minus. 1.5, or you can say this is the point whose x coordinate is 13 by 10 and y coordinate is minus 3 by 2. So we have plotted all the points on the graph, and this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.